Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here. In this video, we'll show all iPhone 3GS owners how to unlock on iOS 5. Now, this video serves two purposes. For one, it'll show any iPhone 3GS owner how to update their baseband to 6.15.00 and unlock using Ultra Snow. And those baseband's include 5.16.05 and these baseband's right here. So it'll show you how to update them on iOS 5 to 6.15.00. Now another thing this video will show is for anyone already on iOS 5 with the 6.15.00 baseband that's having trouble connecting to their carrier like say T-Mobile, it'll show you how to fix those connection errors and get your unlock working. And I just want to show you guys real quick, my iPhone 3GS is running 4.1 and it does have the 5.14.02 baseband. So I'm going to go ahead and update to iOS 5 and if you guys aren't on iOS 5 yet, go ahead and do that. You don't have to worry about preserving your baseband because because in the end we'll all have 6.15.00 baseband's but if you guys are on iOS 5 already and you don't have the 6.15.00 baseband I would recommend that you get a fresh restore from iTunes but if you do have the 6.15.00 baseband don't do that or else your iPhone 3GS will get bricked now if at any point in this video your iPhone 3GS stops working doesn't turn on aka bricked you can go ahead and click on this annotation right there it'll take you to my bricked 3GS iOS 5 video and you can fix it there then restart this video also for those people that have no service already unlocked on iOS 5 you can go ahead and follow along as if you're unlocking for the first time because the process is exactly the same okay so my iPhone has been restored it's now on iOS 5 and it does have the 5.16.05 baseband as you can see it's not activated but if yours is activated it'll work just as well so okay we can now begin on our desktop we'll need to download three things and that's your iOS 5.0 IPSW Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 7 and Eye Detector if you don't know whether your device is a new or old boot ROM. All links can be found down below in the description. There will be a link to a full guide and all the links you need there. Now about Eye Detector, it'll let you know if you have a new or old boot ROM 3GS and the reason you'd want to know that is because Red Snow does ask you that question and if you have a new boot ROM 3GS, this will be a tether jailbreak, meaning every single time your battery dies or you need to reboot, you will need a computer to reboot your device or else it will be stuck on the Apple logo. If you have an old boot ROM 3GS, it will be an untethered jailbreak. And let me just show you real quick how Eye Detector works. You'll run it, you'll put your device into DFU mode, then click this button, make sure it's in DFU before you click it, and it'll let you know, as easy as that. Okay, so once you've got that figured out, whether you have a new or old boot ROM, we can go ahead and close out of this. And I'm sorry about all this info, I just wanna make sure you guys know what you're doing. But okay, go ahead and right click on Red Snow, run as administrator if you're on Windows. Go to Extras, select your iOS 5 firmware, OK. This is where it asks you if it's a new or old boot ROM. Since mine's not a new boot ROM, I'm going to click No. And we're going to go back, jailbreak, it's going to prepare the kernel. Okay, so now that we're on the screen, we're going to select install iPad baseband. Yes, we are sure we want to do this. Now, for those of you that have the no service error on iOS 5, if you've already jailbroken, already have Cydia, and already have the 6.15 baseband, you want to make sure install Cydia is not checked. You just want to reflash your baseband. But for everyone else like me that has a fresh restore of iOS 5, I want to get Cydia as well, so make sure to check that. I just don't want anyone to be confused but okay click next okay so we're gonna go ahead and put our device into DFU mode we're gonna click next and we're gonna hold power and home for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let go of the power button and keep holding the home button I'm just skipping the power off step because that's not necessary but okay, we're gonna wait till Red Snow recognizes our iPhone. There we go. And this will take a bit, so give it about 10 to 15 minutes and I will be right back. Okay guys, so Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 7 didn't work for me. For some reason it worked before, but this time it chose not to. So I'll be sure to include the Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 6 link down below in the description as well. So if Beta 7 doesn't work, try it one more time and then switch to 0.9.9 Beta 6. Okay, so the jailbreak and 6.15 baseband flash has finished. Now, when we set up our iPhone, I just want to mention you want to make sure location services is disabled or else you will have really bad service issues. Your network will not work. So make sure it's disabled. Now, once I set it up, I'll be right back. All right. So now I want to show you guys I am on iOS 5 and I do have the 6.15.00 baseband. 
as you can see right there. Okay, so the next step is to go into Cydia and install Ultra Snow. Uh, select user, let that load. In the meantime, if you guys have a SIM card in your phone, take it out. You don't want to have it in when you install Ultra Snow. And okay, so once this is done, you're going to want to search for Ultra Snow. And once you find it, you're going to select Ultra Snow. You're going to install it and confirm. And once it's done installing, it will ask you to reboot your device. Go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my iPhone has rebooted on its own since it has the untethered jailbreak. But for those of you that have the new Boot ROM 3 GSs, you will have to tether boot it. And to do that, you'll open up Red Snow again, go to Extras, select your iOS 5.0 IPSW. Okay, click yes, it is a new boot ROM. And then you're gonna go to Just Boot Tethered right now. You'll put your device into DFU mode, and in the end it will reboot, and then we can go ahead and continue. But okay, so now that it's rebooted, we can put in our SIM card. Now I have T-Mobile, I'm borrowing a friend's SIM card, and we're gonna put it in. This will take about a few minutes in order to find the service, but in the end it will be unlocked. So just give it a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, and there you go. You are now unlocked on your iOS 5 6.15.00 baseband 3GS. As you can see right there, I have T-Mobile running on it. And for those of you with the new boot ROM 3GS with the tether jailbreak, you may have to wait a while for the untethered jailbreak, but of course I will keep you updated. But thanks for watching guys. I really hope this video helped. So please rate this video, please comment, leave any questions questions you have. Also subscribe for more great videos. Again, I really hope this video helped you guys. It took me a while to make it and it'll be worth it if it does help at least a few people unlock their iPhones. All right guys, peace out. Bye.